So this is the January 2021 granary sale, which unfortunately is a closed auction, so you can't come in and view the sale. So what we're going to do is, this is going to be a much more detailed viewing. So I'll walk around, I'll, we'll have an overview of the table lots here, and I'll point out things as we go around, but it'll give you a chance to have a look around what's here, as if you were here in the room, hopefully. Um, so if we just start on the first table here, and we'll just have a look around. And if there are things here that you can see that are of interest, you can either give us a ring, we can give you a WhatsApp tour of, of some of these things, a bit of a closer look, or we can send you extra photos or talk to you about them on the phone. But here we are with the first table here. So the, starting off with the Liberty Tudric um, pot, and the Liberty pot there, and then quite a few lots of interesting ceramics on here. So Chinese shaped pots here, they're, they're quite rather nice. More Chinese. Nice little walnut cabinet there. many lots of interesting sort of cumulative lots here so that is all one lot there all russian little souvenir hand painted boxes so that's all one lot there and then that's one little lot of interesting stoneware quite a few miniature items in that lot so again that's one group lot there again more little group lots of chinese porcelain here Actually, a damaged handle to that one, but that's 18th century Chinese. And quite a lot of these here are group lots. That's rather nice. A little lacquer panel with hard stone decoration. And that's all one lot there. Most of this is Chinese are around the corner here. Nice enameled sign there, an original post office sign. And these are interesting, little hand, quite a heavy hand blown gla circular glass panels. There's a two together there, lot 68. And you okay. And then here, an interesting box full of collection of spoons there. So all sorts in here, and mainly carved wood. And the, back, the bottom of that box is, uh, they call these a fid. It's a sailor's fid, so that's for making ropes. So it goes with that box full here. Some nice miniature ladles, and so that's one lot again. diorama pictures here which are quite nice and then we have a this is carved stone lot 85 that there and we've got a little collection of horn spoons so most of these group lots this time are from the house that we've been selling the contents of for about the last three sales. There's hundreds of lots from that house again in this sale. Here's an interesting uh, taxidermy diorama. This looks like an albino squirrel and a stoat tea party. That's unusual, isn't it? But they're quite collectible things. This really nice um, Second War period studio photograph. The title is And Sweat. 1945 by Eric Van Stone. That's quite dramatic. Just scan over these mixed lots here. A couple of um, Hispano-Moresque um, 
copper luster bowls. Quite early pottery there. Um, this is a, the book that I was pointing out earlier, which is the what's the date of that one? It's an early travel book from 1738, with lots of engravings inside. Boxes of interesting items and pewter ink wells. It's one lot of pewter at the back of that table. And shelves of, again, shelves of sort of group lots. Coming along here. Nice top hat on the top there. With the leather case as well. Moving, there's the original London enamel street sign, and then we go into the cabinet here. So, we'll just scan through a lot of these because um, most of these are collective lots which um, are easier to see in the photographs online. There's a very nice Black Forest nutcracker there, which I pointed out in the other video. Um, little Tunbridge Ware card case and a Chinese one there. And a Cantonese ivory fan that just needs a new ribbon. Very fine. Look at that. It's an amazing quality carving on that. And have medals. Second War period medals there. And beautiful, lots of Venetian glass here, all handmade in group lots. So that's one lot there at the back, and one lot here of four Venetian bottles. And then we have Victorian doll's house fenders. We've got what, five of those in one lot. of interesting things there and then on the bottom shelf we've got a, a sporran <laughs> which is Victorian and a little knife to go with it as well and then the Morse code key these, these are betel nut crackers and just more interesting group lots and that early um, Indus Valley pot there which is apparently sec second to third millennium BC. So carry on here. Just have a look inside here. This is some quite interesting sort of group lots again. Little collection of enamel items here. A beautiful little musical instrument there. It's Chinese. Um, it's a little group, lot of enamel boxes and instruments. And carved hard stone animals, that's one little group lot here. And we have more boxfuls and two pieces of rye pottery there. Three pieces of rye pottery at the front here, all in one lot. A little Scottish ski and do knives. And that's it. Much of the rest of the cabinets here are collections of jewellery, which are much easier to view online anyway. So we'll we'll scan over the, over those. And we'll carry on in here. This is a very nice um, Chinese coffee pot here. Famille rose porcelain with um, butterflies and birds. 
That's in pretty good condition, that one. And these are Dalton. And this is Vienna. And all sorts of interesting group lots here. The Holy Grail. And interesting. Looks like an old replica of a flintlock pistol there. Certainly a lot to go through this time. And in the last cabinet here, we have some interesting lots on here actually, some miniature musical instruments. Swarovski um, crystal at the back there, in the original boxes. It looks like a diver's knife. USM8, that one. That's the end of the cabinets there. I think we go. So now we carry on down here. So if just... okay, that's the table at the end. Here. So we'll just go down the tables here and just have a look at these sort of group lots on the tables, but we won't dwell too much here because these are again they're best viewed online really. But um, and because most of these are group lots, it's just easier to see if you view them on the net. log, an Excelsior. <laughs> These are again mixed lots. That's one lot. There. Okay. These are interesting. These are um, studio pottery. They're all by the same. They're all by the same maker. Quite finely decorated. And that seems to be the monogram on the base. But unfortunately, I don't know who it is. But all of these are by the, by the same maker, and these up here as well. Which are very stylish. So those two are by the same maker. It's an old Worcester transfer mug, unfortunately cracked that one. A mug, it's like a, a bowl. <laughs> Here's an interesting um, box full of treen items. So lots of uh, Welsh spoons and it's like a nutcracker, a Scandinavian carved wood piece there. That's quite quite a nice lot there. And we've got some quite large lots of Staffordshire pottery here. And that's all all one lot. So of Victorian Staffordshire and then we have one lot of 19th century Majolica pottery That's it. 
lots of boxes underneath these tables as well, which which we won't look at in the, in this video. But um, there are they are all photographed online, so we'll carry on with the table lots here for the time being. Some of these lots have so many items in them. <laughs> One lot of very nice glassware there, which is the quality of that cut glass. So Victorian jug there. And a good decanter. So that's all one lot there, all that lot of clear glass. typewriter on the end here as well which is probably sort of 1920s or early 30s uh, and a whole group of um, this will probably all be Samson porcelain There's a whole collection there, so that's all sold as one lot there. <laughs> this is a, um, pretty sure it's a pen brush for wiping off your fountain pen, wiping off the bits. So that's rather nice. So piece of carved turquoise, it's a Chinese um, little vase, rather nice. Boxes and carved wood items, go down this side. So along here, we have a sword, which is Victorian army officer's sword. Blade's pretty rough on this one, unfortunately. A cannon on the end of the table, that's rather nice. And we have some model ships here, so it's a very cute handmade little boat there and this which is a cutaway and I think it's HMS Victory That's it there. stylish piece of glass. I don't know who made that. It's a very deep blue colour. Mainly 
sort of quite again quite large mixed lots. So one lot of glass there, one lot of um, salt glazed stoneware here. This is a nice lot of stoneware as well. Very nice coloured glass slot there. And these, which are all 19th century drinking glasses. Down around the corner here we've got a couple of group lots of mortars, which are bron bronze. That's rather nice. Another lot of mortars there in one lot. And various items inside. And we've got a tray of pens. And really, if these if these sort of lots are of interest, probably the best thing to do would be to try and do a WhatsApp call, and we can just go through these and tell you exactly what's in there because there are so many; it's too many to list. Nice little um, propelling pencils in there as well. And these which are Cobridge ware, which is um, part of the Moor Moorcroft pottery. And a whole box of lighters. Again, that's a, an ideal lot to go through with WhatsApp. Chaps here would be happy to sort of undo these lots and, and go through them with you in a bit more detail. Very brightly decorated piano accordion. In. Um, I think that is carved stone, it's rather nice, and that's one of the pieces of soapstone. So, magnificent pair of buffalo horns. I'm sure, if they're from a cape buffalo, maybe. And some African items on the end there, a neck rest, and a beaver. <laughs> and some lion in, which is quite interesting. It's got a carved lion mask on the end. in the east but it's one large piece of root wood carved all over and a few 
few interesting things on here. So this is a Neolithic, um, it's either a hand axe or a spear tip. Quite an unusual piece of um, hard stone. It's not flint, it's um, much more, more like an agate. And this is Wedgwood. This is rather nice. Uh, that little Chinese um, Chamblevé enamel vase. A good quality thing. A little bronze god. And an apothecary cabinet. Civil War period money. The beautiful ivory carving here, which is 19th century. And a vulture, a sculpture of a vulture. And then this little box full of um, carved. This is this Vaseline glass, but some of these are carved. This is rock crystal. Nice little pig. An amethyst cat. So that's all one lot there. So, start from the next table. With this Victorian, uh, this is called a footman. A nice, lovely, heavy, polished bronze stand there. And lots more group lots. So, this is all Port Miriam Botanic Garden, which we're selling in quite large group lots here again. This magnificent. Um, light fitting here with glass shades. We've sold a few in this same pattern. I think it's called ice cold pattern. Okay, we'll just have an overview of the uh, silver and plate tables here. Again, these are better viewed online really. Actually if we carry on over here, because that's interesting, which is quite, a, quite unusual that because it's from the Pitcairn Islands and generally they the carvings are of flying fish, but I haven't seen a, a, a shark from Pitcairn. It's rather nice. And a stuffed cobra fighting a mongoose on the top there. Some very large um, Chinese paintings, a pair of those. And then in the bookcases at the end, we've got some quite nice um, bindings in here. So quite a few lots of books, which is just being sold by the shelf full. But then this lot here, there's one shelf here of beautiful leather bindings. Um, again, these would be good lots to, to give us a call and, and arrange a WhatsApp call of, so we can go through exactly the, the content of these lots. Because in here we have Lanzi's paintings in Italy, um, lectures on scientific subjects. So there are some interesting things in there. They're not just bindings. Um, and these are being sold by the shelf full. So concise natural history.
and some lovely lots of um, chemist jars here as well with labels being sold in little group lots. Another apothecary cabinet at the back here. That's rather nice one. Quite a lot of chemist equipment over here. The great ball nozzle <laughs> fountain syringe cleanses thoroughly all the parts <laughs> and is the only syringe that does. Nice. <laughs> and a pill roller there. Some nice chemist jars up here. Looks like we may have cleared a, a chemist this time. And we have musical instruments over here, banjos, guitars, lots of coloured glass, so that's all one lot there. Don't top box there. Looks like it's with these ones in front, but uh, it's rather nice. There's a glass carrying handle. It's Victorian. And that's one interesting lot of kitchen alia and 